guys. I have not vlogged in years, okay? This is so crazy. I feel like I I wanted to start vlogging because this is gonna be the easiest way I can get up content because doing sit down videos and planning videos is just not gonna be great. So we'll see, maybe I'll vlog for a few days or a week or a few days within a week or a couple weeks. I don't know, I can't promise anything, but I feel like this is gonna be a good way to get content up. I'll, sh I'll be able to share with you guys what I'm wearing, what I'm eating, what I'm doing, how I'm feeling. This is very realistic, obviously laid back. I just did a two hour workout on our treadmill. So I look like I did a two hour workout on the treadmill. And I'm not feeling cute. Also, I want to be 100% honest with you guys because I feel like when I do sit down videos, you see like makeup and everything put together and this and this and this. And also too on Instagram, like you really only share like the best of everything. So I feel like on here, it's just gonna be real life, okay? You guys, you guys get it. So I wanna start off by saying, I feel like I've gained back five or six pounds of the weight that I've worked so hard to lose the past. I don't wanna say work so hard because, okay, I'll go into that in a second, but I started a new healthy lifestyle journey back at the end of December in 2020. I was really strict about it because my main goal was to get my stomach aches under control and try to eliminate this digestive problem that I've been having, which was causing insomnia, which was causing depression. It was like a spiral of just not good. I just did not feel good. So I knew it had a lot to do with what I was eating. And I'm gonna do a separate video all about this, why I did it, how I did it, everything. But long story, hopefully not too long, I derailed this past like, I wanna say month and a half, but these past few weeks have just been horrible. I just came back from San Diego. I mean, I just have been indulging. And guess what? My stomach aches are back, my headaches are back, my insomnia is back. I mean, the, I, I liked that I was having weight loss from it, but that wasn't my main purpose of it all. So I, yesterday, Monday, really decided to get right back on track, but I'm not gonna be as restrictive because I feel like when I'm super restrictive and not having like enough balance, then that's what's gonna cause me to, I don't wanna say binge, but kind of derail and be like, I deserve this, I deserve this. It's like, no, you can enjoy those things, incorporate them in small amounts, without feeling guilty. I do have to be careful because it could really hurt my stomach. So one day I'll sit down and do a video about that. But today you could see what I'm eating in a day. So this morning at 4.30 in the morning, I went and worked out on the treadmill for about two hours. I did about seven miles, slow and steady. I don't like to run the whole time. I feel like it spikes my cortisol stress levels and does not do anything for me. And walking is really the answer for me and really has helped me shed the weight um, because I've been doing really long walks with Cleo, but it's been getting hot outside. So we're just using the treadmill lately. So first thing first, I naturally intermittent fast. I think that's what it's called. I'm just not hungry in the morning. I don't really eat until Cleo eats lunch, which is around 11, 12, sometimes one, depending on when she wakes up from her nap. But the first thing I have is black coffee. And please don't come for me. I don't use paper cups every day, but I do like the way coffee tastes better in paper cups. It just does. I feel like certain mugs, glass, I don't know what it is. It just tastes better in paper mugs, okay? Um, but anyways, this is just black coffee with two stevias and a dash of the sugar-free salted caramel syrup. So that's that for the first thing. And right now I'm just doing loads of laundry. Nothing exciting. I don't even really have anything too exciting this week going on, except I am getting my lashes done. So I could take you guys there or on the way or on the way back. They look really bad. Okay, guys, ignore the Kobe fur on my couch. I don't know how it just gets everywhere. Anyways, I wanted to share with you guys some new things that I've picked up over the past few weeks. These are the Cotton On Long Straight Legs. I feel like these run big. At first they feel snug, okay? But I feel like the denim really stretches out and these are just so good. I got them in the black and in a six, might exchange them for a four. Right now the six is what fits me. Um, but I have these in an eight in the blue denim and they're huge on me, but I really actually like the way they look. So it's nice to have some stuff that's like really baggy and then more fitted, but these are great. And then I picked these up actually in San Diego because my Target 
I don't know. It's not that great. This Target by my sister's house and my mom's house is so good. So these were cute. Six bucks. Wore these. Love them. Then at Marshall's, I've picked up a couple little tops, maybe for a date night with Matt or whatever. This is so stinking cute, especially with like those jeans, my Telfar bag, some cream little shoes that I don't have. This was on sale, 20 bucks. I don't know what brand this is, to be honest with you. Lucy Paris, never heard of it. Super cute, it's kind of silky. Um, kind of bothers me showing you guys stuff from Marshalls because I know you guys like to see it, but I would get annoyed if there's like no links, you know? These are really cool, they're inside out, but they're high-waisted shorts with pockets from Amazon. They were super, super affordable. These I'm gonna for sure be able to link for you guys and the cotton on jeans. Anyways, I got these. I thought these would be fun for Disneyland because I have a really cute Mickey, like Mickey shirt that has red on it and they're long and they're cute and they're fun. And I've never owned like a fun color bike short because I've always been too self-conscious, but these are super stretchy and comfortable. These I got in like, I'm gonna say like eggshell off-white color, but they're very see-through. So anything that I wear with these has, my butt has to be covered. But these also have a pocket. Don't know when I'm gonna be wearing those because they're see-through. This is another annoying thing I wanna show you because it's not linkable. This is a vintage shirt that I found off of Depop. Thought that was fun. Obviously it could look really cute with bike shorts. I'm contemplating cropping it. I might, because I have so many oversized shirts. And I don't really have too many graphic shirts that are cropped. Then this is probably not linkable, but you know for sure where to get it. And I got myself the ivory sporty and rich be nice tea super super cute the quality is whatever like it just feels like a gildan tea it's a sporty rich on the back has that little tag and i got it in a size small because i thought it would be cute to like tuck in and like i said i don't have a lot of graphic tees that are more fitted so yeah i would show you guys cleo because she looks so cute playing <laughs> Her little puzzle on the floor but my office is a mess so just thought i'd show you guys quickly what i've picked up recently i said i wasn't going to show my office because look at this place it's a disaster anyways i did also say i'm going to keep it real so clean this place up and share the after with you guys in a second we'll try to clean it while she's making a mess okay so much better i don't know what i'm going to be doing about my filming equipment it used to go in our spare bedroom downstairs but that's now our gym and i need to figure out i need to figure out this situation a little bit better i obviously have to go through my old pants and donate a lot more and put more up for sale on depop and it also bothers me that some of these hangers are different this is messy but i am getting rid of my couch and rearranging things in here so that means my sweaters, like all my knitwear is gonna have a different storage situation. And that means this situation is sort of gonna change. So things are definitely gonna change in here, but this is clean for now. Hi guys, so same day, look at Cleo with her little sunglasses. So same day, I decided to shower and actually get my life together and go to Target. It is so hot outside right now, it's 102. 102 like whoa i did not want to leave the house um in this and sorry if you hear the air conditioning blowing but i have the baby in the car and i'm in the car um anyways it's super hot came to target and bathroom stuff i needed diapers baby stuff so i just decided to get it done earlier this week versus later i am wearing that thrifted shirt that i shared with you guys that i got from depop but i cropped it it's really cute maybe i'll take an outfit picture not don't know anyways yes just checking it good morning guys i just finished my morning workout i did two hours on the treadmill and stretched for a little bit because yeah it's just been too hot outside to go anywhere and it's seven in the morning so it feels nice to have everything like your workout sort of done and over with i'm gonna make some coffee <laughs> Okay, so of course the gardeners just got here. 
as soon as I was gonna film and show you guys how I make my coffee. But, you know, I said I don't use paper cups all the time, but I meant like, if I have them, I'm gonna use them. Obviously, I already paid for them and bought them, so I get my cup. There's gardeners. Let me grab the coffee. Here's my coffee, and I fill it pretty much to the top. The rest is for Matt. And this is for my black coffee in the morning. So I make my iced coffee midday um, a little different. So I take two Truvias, and I put that in there. And then I'm using the sugar-free vanilla syrup and I put much and then I just stir it and then that's it. That's all I pretty much consume until dinner time, which I forgot to show you guys what I ate for dinner last night now that I think of it. I didn't end up making anything exciting because Matt was getting home late, so I just kind of had breakfast for dinner and leftover dinner from the night before for lunch. So for lunch, I just had a piece of baked chicken with some broccoli. And then for dinner, I had two eggs with a half of an avocado and a ton of roasted broccoli. So that's what I ate for dinner. And then I had uh, pistachios for snack, a cutie. I think I had another snack, but I can't remember. Iced coffee. So yeah, hopefully today I can remember to film what I eat. I forgot to share with you guys what I picked up from Target and I scored for myself and I tried to find these online. Hopefully by the time I put this vlog up they'll have these online but how freaking cute are these checkerboard they remind me of the brand ragged priest they have different checkerboard version not denim but colors from urban like this but these are wild fable whoever designed for wild fable has been killing it lately i mean 22 dollars size six super comfy stretchy straight leg and then this is kind of a shocker for me um Actually, not really. I have my checked Target blazer that was super popular on Instagram years ago. Still have that from Target. But you guys, literally the only linen-y, casual, oversized, double-breasted blazers I've been finding that I've actually liked are so expensive, like crazy, like $500 expensive. And it's not, not that it's not a staple that it, it would be worth it, but it wasn't that serious for me. And it's one of those things where I just want something in the summer evenings to throw on with like a little dress or like a strappy cute top and some jeans and heels. But anyways, I'm shocked that Target had this. I got in a small, it does fit oversized. I'm going to try to link that for you guys. It's so good and comfy and it even has like a little bit of stretch in it. So it's really nice. So super excited about those pieces. These pieces are super cute for Cleo for when we go to Disneyland, but this makes me sad because, I'll explain in a second, I found these for her at Target. I almost got her a couple cute things from Zara, but I actually <laughs> liked these more, and I thought either of these go with the cute little black bike shorts. She also has some cute yellow or pink bike shorts that she could wear with this. If we go to Disneyland when it's warmer... <laughs> but we're not, I don't think so. So we had reservations to go at the end of this month, but everybody's posting how horribly crowded it is and they're not regulating how many people are like coming in. Obviously you need reservations, but what's the point of reservations at this point? So anyways, we're making reservations for October, which it's gonna be a little bit cooler. So she could wear these t-shirts, I think with just some jeans and obviously a jacket. It's still pretty warm in October here in LA and also to, not LA, sorry, Cali. Disneyland is in Anaheim. Um, and also, too, these are just cute to just wear whenever. But just thought I'd share those cute little Target pieces. Hi, guys. So let's ignore the mirror. It's very dusty. I honestly can't tell it's dusty until I turn on my camera. But I could see little Cleo fingerprints and my fingerprints from opening it. And I only clean this mirror like twice a week. Sorry, just being honest. Anyways, I thought I would do a try-on portion of this video with stuff that I can actually link so i'm not going to try on like the marshall stuff or like the vintage stuff and stuff like that but these are the cotton on long straight legs i think that's what they're called i have these in a blue in blue in size eight and 
they're huge on me. Like they really stretch out. These are a six, but I know they're gonna really stretch out. But right now, this is my size for sure. This is what fits me, but they're super cute. They're long. I cut an inch or two off the blue ones and they did a little bit of a fray. These black ones, I'm debating if I wanna cut them at all because this would definitely be a good little like going out pant with some heels. Maybe I'll cut just an inch. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, so on to the next item. Okay, so here are the Wild Fable checkerboard pants. I mean, I'm obsessed. They're not the most flattering on me, but I don't care. This is like more of a fashion moment and I'm just so obsessed. It's fashion, but it's subtle. Definitely more my speed. I feel like the younger generation likes like the more pink and green checkered, but I feel like the denim is just perfect. These are a size six, stretchy, comfy. Um, I have another pair of like their straight leg jeans I've talked about before. Straight leg or they're like baggy and I have them in a size four. I feel like it just depends on the cut of the jean, um, but I am a size six and they're short. So. so that's why I went with the six. Sorry if you can hear my floor squeaking. I'm not farting, I promise. That's just my floors. Anyways, so cute and I'm obsessed. By the way, this is another just Marshall's find to basic black ripped tee. Okay, this is not how I would style this blazer, but this is the blazer on. So cute, right? I love it. The lighting in here is not the best, but this is super cute. And it's not that I hate it with these jeans, but I definitely picture wearing this in a more summery way, maybe with like a bright colored mini ribbed bodycon dress and I don't know, some like sexy black little sandals or something. But so cute, right? So here is a sporty and rich shirt in a size small. Here, I'm going to untuck it for you guys so you could see. I know this isn't like linkable right now while it's not in stock, I don't think. But a lot of people want to know how the sizing is. This is a small, but it's an adult unisex small. But I would say it's more of a slim fitting small. But what's weird is when I saw reviews on this top, the medium is just like way more massive. So I'm not really quite sure how the sizing is supposed to work with this, but I got a small because I don't have any like graphic tees that are smaller. Like all of them are like t-shirt dresses. So I just threw it on with just some 501 cutoff shorts right now because I'm debating on what I'm gonna wear right now for the day. And yes, I have a bruise on my knee, fell and scraped my knee in the garage, like a clumsy klutz. Okay. This is what we decided for the day. T-shirt dress, wet hair up in a clip. Um, I can't be bothered. It is that time of the month and to wear or put on like jeans right now, not fun. So this is what I'm wearing. This is a really old T-shirt dress from Zara. I, God, those fingerprints bother me so much on camera, but I can't see them. So annoying. Anyway, I'm gonna clean my mirror in a second. Um, I bought this dress actually right before I got pregnant. It's a size large and it fit me like super, super, super snug. And now it's a little loose, which I like because it's like a fun little more casual vibe. Then for jewelry, um, I get so many questions about this evil eye still. This was made for me for my 29th birthday. My sister and her husband had that made for me. It's diamonds and sapphires. This was my dad's necklace, he passed away. Um, this is a necklace that we were gonna come out with for Shelby Shop, my sister-in-law and I, um, which we still might. And then this is a lock from one of my Teddy Blake bags that I just like threw on it, I thought it looked cute. These are little earrings from the pack that I shared with you guys from Target and rings, the gold ones are from Amazon. I'm gonna link those for you guys. I get a lot of questions on my Instagram about those. And this chubby yellow one is from Urban. It came in a pack of three. It also came with a blue and a clear, like rainbow sprinkled sparkly ring. Super cute. Not that I'm trying to draw attention to the these nails. And then I actually have to go put on my engagement ring. Uh, bum bag and these sandals that I got from Ross that I absolutely love, but they're already ripping. I need to get like the actual Birkenstock version of like a beige or a brown but i liked these because they are they are such a good complementing color to the lv canvas anyways that is my outfit for today just running errands for home is where maybe the grocery store and then coming home cooking dinner also too i forgot to mention i'm sorry i didn't show you guys what i ate for breakfast so i'll quickly tell you not breakfast but like my brunch lunch 
Anyways, I had two eggs with half of an avocado and a handful of carrots. And then I had some iced coffee and a handful of dark pitted frozen cherries. So yummy. And right now I'm going to grab a little pack of pistachios. I'll show those to you guys. I get them from Target all the time. So this is the pack of pistachios that I get from Target. You can also get them with shells. I like the no shells. It's just a little bit easier to just shove down my throat quickly because I'm just super busy here at the house. Also too, I like to get like the packs of cashews from Target or Trader Joe's. They have really good packs at Trader Joe's and stuff, but yeah, just wanted to share with you guys. I'm cooking chicken fajitas tonight. I'm gonna show you guys how I prepare my little fajita bowl after. Steaming the camera, whoa. Okay, so here's my bowl. I put lettuce and then I start putting like cauliflower rice. I mean, sometimes I eat the entire package of cauliflower rice. I mean, I think it's like 100 calories for the whole package. Ignore my dirty stove. I make a huge mess when I cook, like really bad. Okay, so did the cauliflower rice. Okay, next we are going to add the fajitas on top. So I can't do this one handed, hold please. Okay, that's it with the chicken fajitas on top. I like to keep my veggies a little undercooked because I like them more crunchy, but I'm gonna add more cauliflower rice on top. Okay, now the best part is my homemade guacamole, which is bomb full and it's super healthy. And that's it, I do it dairy free. I mean, I try to avoid dairy as much as possible. I really do see a difference in my stomach when I do. So that's my dinner. Good morning, guys. It is like 7.30 in the morning. I took Kobe out for his morning pee and it's already 80 degrees outside, so that's great. But I have a lash appointment at one o'clock today. I'm so excited because that always makes me feel like a new human. And I'm so exhaustedly tired. Exhaustedly? Is that a word? I did not sleep last night, so I could not get up this morning to go on the treadmill like at all. I had like no energy and Hopefully at some point today I will go on the treadmill, but I will see you guys probably in the car on the way to go get my lashes done. So we ended up going on a walk anyway. Cleo was getting a little fussy and I just thought, okay, we'll go on a quick walk since it's not too, too hot yet. It's about maybe 85 degrees, um, but she's loving it. She's happy as can be. So I also thought maybe, hopefully I have time today to get my nails done. I'll ask my mother-in-law she can watch Cleo a little bit longer um because she's gonna watch her while I get my lashes done and tonight we are going out to dinner so that's fun so while I walk I'm just sort of trying to figure out my outfit in my head that is what I do while I walk I try to manifest things that I want in my life for myself and my family and people I love and also think of outfits. <laughs> Hi guys, I have to lower the air because I feel like I have to scream over the air conditioning, it's so loud. Very grateful for air conditioning though. So living in Southern California, it's not fun without AC. Anyways, I, I'm i like so exhausted, my eyeballs hurt. Like I feel like they're pulsating. I just dropped off Cleo and drove to my favorite local coffee shop because it's just my favorite coffee ever. And I feel like I needed needed something before I go get my lashes done. So this is the before. Maybe when I get out of the car, I'll do an outfit of the day. I filmed an outfit of the day at home, but I don't think I like the way it came out because it looks blurry and fuzzy. So I'm gonna just share my outfit when I get to Brady's and I'm parked. And yeah, so drinking my iced coffee. I realized how tired I was too because when I drove to my coffee place, it was in silence. Like I drove without music. And it was just like weird. I'm just like a zombie. Anyways, let's go get my lashes done. Okay, I'm gonna share with you guys what I'm wearing. I just got to my lash appointment a little early. So while I wait, I will share. This tank is from Marshalls. These bike shorts are from Amazon. Thank you. Not very flattering, to be honest. This shirt is a vintage pinstripe shirt that I got so many questions on on my Instagram. I got it from Depop, but I know brands are making them. So I'll link for you guys some dupes that I like. 
and then the LV bum bag and my New Balance dad sneakers. Got my lashes done. They look so good. I am obsessed. I just picked up Cleo. I got my nails done. They look super cute. I'm sure you guys are gonna see them in an Instagram picture. And I look so tight. So I will see you guys later after I get ready for dinner. Okay, so super casual vibes for dinner tonight. I'm gonna just share my outfit really quickly. This is an old, not old, but I got it in the Urban Outfitters sale online. Super cute, kind of like a, it's not like a sweatshirt, but sort of very sporty and then I'm wearing the cotton on jeans I trimmed them about an inch and a half um, I still have some jewelry I want to add to my hand that's downstairs and my Chanel bag and the most comfortable shoes ever these are the Converse star hikes I believe I definitely need to get a pair in beige so that's the look of tonight for dinner Morning guys, happy Friday. I just finished my two hour workout and right now I just left 7-Eleven and picked up me and Matt some coffee. 7-Eleven, if you don't know, it's like one of my favorite like cheap, quick coffee places. <laughs> it's so good. I really, really love their hazelnut flavor. The regular blend is really good too, but what's so annoying is that they're always almost out of their hazelnut flavor. So I always end up <laughs> filling I, my cup up hazelnut and Matt always gets a regular he doesn't care but he adds creamer anyway so for me because I like it black with just a little bit of like the you know the sweetener it's nice to have some sort of flavor but their coffee's really good also I'm sorry I didn't vlog dinner last night I just was caught up just spending time with the family and it was getting late and it was actually really dark and we ate outside because it was a warm night. It was a really nice warm night. Um, we went to one of our favorite restaurants out in Westlake. Wasn't the best experience. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little disappointed. I hate when that happens when you love a restaurant and like one of the experiences like kind of sucks. I mean, there was a lot of things that happened. So anyways, um, hopefully today I'll be able to vlog a little bit and I'm going to end this vlog at some point today, I think, because I think you guys are done with these small little clips. I don't know how annoying this is. Let me know if you guys like this style of vlog. I feel like it's very Instagram story style where it's like small, short little clips, which I enjoy watching those kind, kind of vlogs, but let me know what you guys think. So yeah, I'll see you guys soon. So I ended up coming to the mall because I need to get my phone fixed. My screen is broken, shattered on the front and the back. And I'm a little nervous because I don't know if they're gonna keep my phone for a couple days. I don't know how this is gonna work. So maybe the vlog doesn't end today. Who knows? Quickly wanted to share my outfit with you guys. It's nothing special. Here's up in my Amazon clip. This is the same tank top that I wore in white um, from Marshalls, but came in a pack of two. It's gray with my Levi's rib cage, high-waisted jeans, and Birkenstocks bum bag, earrings from Target. So nothing special, just, yeah. So I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, so unsuccessful at Apple. I'm showing you guys a ripped bag, but unsuccessful at Apple. They don't even carry my phone anymore. It was too expensive to fix, so now I have to go like straight to my phone carrier, so that's annoying. But I picked up a lot of basics that I've really been needing like really been needing in my wardrobe ever since I lost, lost weight. Um, I feel like these are pieces that are just really, really good. So I'm gonna share those with you right now. Okay, first I wanna share this t-shirt from Zara. 
Now they have it in white and black and they didn't have any mediums left and I'm probably gonna order those online. But this is where it's so important for me when it comes to a comfortable cropped t-shirt, the sleeves. If the sleeves are long like this, I feel way more comfortable, way more confident, and um, I just love it so much. So this was $9.90, and I picked it up in this really fun color too. So I can bring these out every spring, summer, even fall, winter when I'm wearing all black and I just want to pop a color. It's just a really, really good basics. I know Zara has really good basics. I look crazy right now. Zara has really good basics, but they really nailed it with this cropped Tea. And I'm wearing my rib cage, Levi's rib cage jeans. So these are a little bit higher than, well, actually, no, these are kind of loose. So they're falling. Maybe they're supposed to sit up here. So they, I don't know, they just nailed it with this shirt. So I'm really, really happy. I'm going to see if they have the white and black online just to have even more basic colors of it. So those are first. Okay, next up is this super cute, what is this called? Smocked crop top. I am obsessed. I, of course, I got it in white too. This is from a store called Fashion Q. Let me know if you guys have Fashion Qs anywhere outside of Los Angeles. I don't know if it's like an LA thing, California thing, um, but it's like a very inexpensive, I call them cheapy stores, very inexpensive store. The shirt was $11.99 and they gave me 15% off for I don't know what reason. So they were really inexpensive. This, all year. All year, I feel like I would have spent even $60 on both of these. Let me explain why. When it comes to a smocked or like a going out top that's not a t-shirt and not like a slinky tee, because I can't do these slinky tank top thingies, okay? I don't have my boobs on. I don't have the proper bra. I don't know what all these bras people are wearing with all these crazy shirts. Anyway, so I need something that covers my arms, covers the strap of my bra, and I don't know, these were just perfect. And you can't really tell on camera, but it's, this is the thing for the hanger, but it's like, um, I don't know the name of it, but it's like a dressier, nice material. And yeah, just so good. I had to get it in black and white, obviously it was so, so cheap. I feel like I thrifted today in a mall. Does it make sense? So like everything was like super, super inexpensive and just, I scored. So really happy about these two pieces. I also picked up these celine dupes from that fashion q store a dollar one buck cute cute color too okay next up is h m this is my favorite thing over ten dollars but less than 25 i am obsessed can we just talk about how cool this is i mean it does nothing for my figure but it is like cool girl polo oversized taupey colored knit it's like a knit fabric but it's lightweight i don't know how to explain it so so cute i actually got this in a small so they definitely run large this dress but it is so so good you guys oh my gosh i'm so excited to wear this another favorite piece this is from h m too how good is this black dress it did not cut out in the back which i love it has this cute little tag it has long sleeves for my arms and it just has this interesting little cutout you could see my this scar you guys is from my um, when I had my gallbladder removed just in case anyone is wondering if you ever see it in pictures I have another one over here so that is this little dress I'm obsessed so cute their sizing is so weird though so this is a medium you guys I literally just wiped this mirror why is it so dusty this is a medium and like I said that other dress I just showed you is a small so their sizing is very funny but I like it. it has like a little bit of this flattering rouging going on the side. I'd wear this by itself. I'd wear it with a blazer, whatever. This is such a good staple. I feel like I'm going to be wearing this a ton this summer. And for events, date night, casual sneakers with Birkenstocks, whatever. Love it. Okay, last dress from H&M. $9. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. They had it in yellow, white, and orange. And the orange and the white were super see-through. The yellow, they didn't have my size. I got this in a small. And I feel like if I went up, it would have just been too baggy up here. You could see it kind of already bagging. But it's a little smidget short. I wish it was like an inch or two longer. But super cute. So easy to throw under anything or wear by itself. All right, you guys. That is it for the vlog. I'm going to end it here. I'm really sad about my phone. But happy about all the basics that I ended up scoring and for really good prices. 
think I spent less than like $40 on everything, which is crazy. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this style of vlog. Let me know. And hopefully I can get this up this weekend. I mean, you'll know when it's up because it'll be up. And that's it. I will see you guys next time. Bye. Mwah.